David here and the project for today is taking out this little hand cannon for a little exercise. This is a Dan Wesson chambered in 44 Magnum. Dan, <coughs> excuse me, Dan Wesson was one of the, uh, he was a great grandson of one of the founders of Smith and Wesson. He incorporated his business in 1968 and he passed away in 1978. And his revolvers were known for their extreme accuracy. They were very popular in silhouette shooting. Dan Wesson started with a Model 15, which was chambered in 357 Magnum, and then he made this larger frame model in 44 Magnum in 1980. And uh, both models were uh, found to be extremely accurate, mostly because of the uh, the untraditional manufacturing methods. Uh, the cylinder lockup is in the front right here in front of the crane. But I think what made it most popular was the, uh, the barrel. The barrel was tightened with threads uh, on the inside. The frames of are made shroud. with an investment cast 4140 chromoly steel and uh, competed very well with Colt, Smith & Wesson. I notice on this model here the frame has taken on kind of a, a almost a, a plum shade in the bluing and I don't know if that's because of, because of the steel or or the way the bluing was done but it's a slightly different shade than the bluing on the barrel shroud which is a dark deep blue. Uh, there were some problems with the company after uh, uh, Dan Wesson passed away. Uh, the company went bankrupt in 1990 and then the corporation was moved from Monson to Palmer, Massachusetts. Name was changed to Dan Wesson Firearms. Uh, sales were poor and in 1995 they declared another bankruptcy. After which Bob Serva purchased the company and its assets and moved the company to Norwich, New York where it's currently located. And uh, since then it's been bought out by CZ, which is a, uh, a very reputable company. Because of the threaded barrel design, the barrel lengths are interchangeable. You could get a 4-inch, 6-inch, 8-inch, or 10-inch barrel on the, the Model 44. Uh, most barrels were shipped with a 6-inch length, uh, and this one is a 6-inch. Some of them had compensators. Uh, this one does not have a compensator. Uh, eventually uh, Dan Wesson went into producing uh, stainless steel models and um, mostly now they're producing 1911s. I believe they went back into producing revolvers and I believe revolvers are still available. Ready? Yeah. You good? Good. Okay. Always keep the muzzle pointed down range. Uh... I think the... We got Rui here. This is his first time firing a 44 Magnum. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh my god! I don't want to do How'd that you anymore. Do? You don't want to do it anymore? No, I, I do, but I, I was very scared. That's okay. That was your first one. Let's try a second one. Better, right? Did you hit anything? I think so. I think it's close to yours. Yeah, well, not bad. Again? Yeah. This this thing is crazy. Why you would they even? Your hand hurts. Why? Why? I mean, why does this exist? Because it's fun. I think that's also that's the best. Use, use it for deer hunting, target shooting, <laughs> silhouette targets. That's the best to give it for sure. Okay, let's just see. No, I missed that pretty badly. You go now. Yeah, we're shooting American Eagle, 44 Magnum, 240 grain jacket at hollow point. Muzzle velocity is 1,230 feet per second at the muzzle. That's what it looks like. Looks more like a torpedo than uh, ammunition, doesn't it? They're all to the left, Dave. This might be something. Have you noticed? You're probably pulling it with your finger. <laughs> it, 
That's our grouping, 21 feet, not bad for a couple old guys. You critics don't define our honor. You try to shame us for doing our job. You teach children to fear us, crowds to attack us, and good people to doubt us. But we will never back down from our sworn duty to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. We wake up every day, put on our badge, strap a gun to our hips, kiss our families goodbye, and put our lives between the law-abiding and any criminal who threatens their rights. We serve people of every color and creed, men, women, and children in violent, dangerous neighborhoods, because they have the same right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness as CEOs, movie stars, and the political elite. We are Americans, and we are the American police officer. We stand with the National Rifle Association of America, and the NRA stands with us. Together, we're freedom's safest place.